So this is my friend Anna and she has the most beautiful silky straight hair and her issue is her curls tend to fall toward the bottom and they kind of become one unit. So her hair texture, although mine is straight as well, is opposite from mine because it's really silky, really soft and really smooth. So I'm going to show her how to get definition in her curls and teach her a way to make sure they don't all blend together as one unit. Alright Anna, show me what you do, okay? Okay. So it was helpful for me to see where she puts the curling iron in and then how she wraps it. Those are two big things that you want to pay attention to when you're curling your own hair. So something I talk a lot about in curling tutorials is changing up the direction of your curls. So if you have the problem that Anna has where all her curls turn into one big unit at the end of the day, if you curl one away from your face, curl the one right behind it toward your face and just change that up as you go around your head and also vary up the size of your section. So take one bigger section and do a bigger curl and then the one right next to it do a smaller curl. Those different sizes will be less likely to sort of settle into each other. So using texture sprays and finishing sprays at the end will also help the curls from falling into each other. So pay attention to where the curling iron is and notice that it pretty much stays in the same place. If you can do that and just feed the hair into it instead of pulling the iron up or down the piece of hair that you're working on, you'll have a much more consistent curl. My other tip is to lift the section you're working on away from your head. So when I started there, I pulled it kind of straight out from where it's growing. Instead of putting the iron in where the hair is falling, pull the hair up and lift it straight out. And you'll be able to get the curling iron even a little bit closer that way. So another tip if your curls tend to blend together is use a little bit of a flexible hold hairspray on each section before you curl it. So this is Matrix Texture Builder. It's a messy finishing spray. If you hold a finishing spray from further away, you'll get a lighter sort of veil of the product and that way it won't be like a, a wet hairspray when you go to put the iron in it. But this will help hold the curl a little bit. And then just to reinforce, if your curls settle at the ends of your hair, it's because the ends of your hair curl up really easily. So put the iron in at your root, twist it, and don't even let like the bottom two inches of your hair get into the barrel while it's closed. Just the act of it sort of sliding against it will be enough for that. So I'll show you what I mean here. Put it in at the root, you twist it, and those last two to three inches even, just let those hang. And then when you're releasing the barrel, open it and just slide it out. And the hair running against the barrel is just enough to give it the little bend that it needs so the curl looks uniform on its way down. A little texture spray will keep your curls from all meshing together as well and I love Amika's Undone Texture Spray. The last issue that Anna said she had problems with was the hair right around the front of her hairline falling directly into her eyes. So if you pull that back in angled sections and do a really slight tease at the base and then put a little hairspray around the front, that will create a a bit of hold to keep their hair out of your face, but also you can see she's got a natural cow look there. That's just something she sort of needs to fight. But you can do what you can to prevent that um, as best you can so it doesn't live right in the middle of your eyes all day. <laughs>